Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be checking in for the second week of February 2019. It's been kind of a busy, busy week for us this week. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. As you can see, there are quite a few transactions here. So this is my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner and this is the eight and a half by 11 version. So I did opt to switch over to the larger version just to make sure I had you know plenty of room in my planner and everything like that and I so far have absolutely loved the switch I don't see myself going back to the 7x9 um, I love the 7x9 for my life planner which is where I plan like all of our social family events and appointments and things like that but for budgeting I feel like the 85 by 11 version is perfect so um, this is the monthly spread where I track my transactions you can see I've got my little key up here um, just to kind of color code things and make it a little easy for me to see at a glance, you know, what kind of transactions we made and everything like that. So, um, and then over here, I've got our weekly check-in page. So this is where we're going to complete um, uh, just an overview, a check-in, if you will, of our variable expenses. And I did recently combine our Costco budget with our grocery budget. So this week we're just tracking grocery, gas, family fun, pocket money, and unbudgeted. So let's go ahead and start with grocery. We did have a couple transactions for grocery this week. So we have Target for 702, Target for 881. We had a lot of like little mini lists like, oh shoot, we ran out of this, so let's go get it type of thing. Um, we did Walmart grocery delivery for the first time and that was awesome. Um, if you use the code, I think delivery, if it's offered in your area, you get your first three deliveries for free. And on this particular day, I was not feeling well at all. So I just went ahead and did the grocery delivery. Um, and it was awesome. I don't think I'll use it like as far as like having to pay for the delivery fee and stuff like that. But, um, I'll probably use it a couple more times while the delivery free delivery fee is free. So, um, and then we also had Target over here for 6.30. And I remember that's because we ran out of hot sauce and our family loves hot sauce. So let's see, let's mark these off before I forget because you all know I tend to do that. And for our week two, I just really quickly wanted to explain, week two does go from February 8th to February 14th, but I film my check-in videos usually in the morning on Thursday. So these transactions took place, like this um, Target transaction took place after I had filmed. Same with this um, Dodge. This is for our tires for our Dodge journey. So I just wanted to explain that. That's why you see a couple transactions on the seventh there. Okay, so it looks like we spent $136.98. So, um, we'll put that down here. And we are gonna have to be very creative for the rest of February with groceries. If we go a little bit over, I'm obviously okay with that because we have to eat, but I wanna make sure that we are not impulse buying, that we're really using what we have on hand. Um, and, you know, we'll just have to make it stretch and make it work. This upcoming week, during week three, I have family in town and I know we're going out to dinner and stuff like that. So. That's less groceries that we'll have to buy, which is nice. Um, and I know we stocked up on quite a few things like from Trader Joe's and stuff. So we'll make it work, we'll make it happen. Even if we're eating like grilled cheese and pancakes for dinner for like a whole week, we will make it happen. So, um, cause yeah, I know we barely have anything left in this budget. Let's see. Yeah, we have $13 and eight cents left in our grocery budget. And this does include um, household products as well. And I think we're good on household products. We might, might have to get some toilet paper. We have like four rolls right now. So I'm like, can we make this work? <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so gas. I think we did have, yeah, we had one transaction for gas for $42. And that was for our Dodge Journey, which we haven't filled up like we barely drive the Dodge Journey because it's kind of my car and I work from home full time. Yeah, we hadn't filled that up since the 6th of January. So that went almost a whole month. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, just now realized that. Okay, so $42 for gas. And we had $157.15 remaining last week. 
so minus 42. So we have 115, 15 remaining in gas, and that should obviously be plenty to get us through the next couple of weeks. I am not worried at all. I think we'll be under on gas, which will be nice because if we go over a little bit in grocery, that will kind of even out. So family fun, we are over. <laughs> I know that for certain. Oh, um, we struggle with this category, you guys, a little bit, just eating out in particular. We're trying to get better about it, but I know um, I grabbed pizza with my friend Kelsey and Maddie. We went shopping at Costco on Saturday. Or no, it was Sunday that we went. Or wait. Oh, I, th I think I put that in the wrong day. This is supposed to be on Sunday. But anyways. Um, and then we went and got ice cream. And then my husband went and got some dinner for himself um, later that night. And I had him pick me up some fries. I don't know if you guys have had curly fries from Jack in the Box, but I'm kind of obsessed with them. It's a really bad, bad addiction. <laughs> um, so he picked me up some of those and something else for himself. But okay, so 561 plus 957 plus 661 plus 1046. And I think that was all of our family fun transactions. And that puts us at 32, yeah, we are over. 32.25 and we had 2019 remaining last week so we're negative um, so we are cut off we're just gonna have to not eat out the rest of the month which that's fine like we'll we'll make that work I'm not worried about it so 12.06 and pocket money, I did have one transaction. I had two transactions. I think I I got something for my daughter at Target for Valentine's Day. And I just went ahead and used my pocket money for that. And then I also picked up a couple things from Costco for myself um, while we were there. So the 1739 plus 1945. It's 36.84. Oops is what I spent and I had 60 remaining last week. So that leaves me with 2316. And I know already I'm gonna use that to go get a fun cup of coffee and a manicure because I desperately need it. So all of my gel polish is off on this hand, but this is just so funny looking you guys. And I can't get this off, like I have tried. I feel like all the rest of it came off so easily and for some reason these three fingers like, I, yeah, I don't want to like damage my nail, so, um, or my nails, but I need to go get a manicure desperately. So that is my plan for my pocket money. And then maybe get like a nice cup of coffee. And then Target, we had, or I'm sorry, Target, what am I saying? Um, unbudgeted. We did not have any unbudgeted items. I did want to explain this other category. I have a plan for the other category for moving forward. It's in a way replacing sinking funds for the time being. So like what my husband and I are gonna do at the beginning of every month is we're gonna go through a checklist, like clothing, who needs shoes or underwear or you know shorts, things like that. Um, I know my husband really needed new shoes. So that, that technically could be unbudgeted, but we did budget for it in every dollar. I didn't budget for it here, but I don't really consider it an unbudgeted item because we did budget for it, if that makes sense. So I probably should put that as an unbudgeted item, but yeah, I'll leave it for now. But anyway, so what I'm planning on doing with other is like at the beginning of the month, I'm gonna use this column since I have my debt tracker stickers by Sarah Marie. Now I'm gonna put our debt balances in the like the debt tracker. And then I'm gonna use this column over here instead of putting my debt balances here, I'm gonna use this as like our other category. And this is kind of where we're gonna budget for, you know, if there's a birthday that month and we need to get a gift or our car tags are due that month or, you know, Andrew needs new shoes, I need new shoes, whatever it might be. That is gonna go here. And then I'm gonna switch over the sinking funds to just other in my actual budget. What I'm planning on doing is just kind of 
I, I don't even know if I'll fill in the estimated budget because we made some big changes to our, and I hate doing this. We made big changes to our February budget, like a week into it or something like that. Um, and then I'll just add up all the orange stickers and put that here once we're done. But I don't think we should have any, like any other, other, <laughs> um, purchases for the rest of the month. I think we've got everything. This um, was shorts and underwear for my daughter, which she needed. Um, so yeah, that's essentially what we're gonna do there, I'm pretty sure. So you just have to bear with me while I'm figuring this all out. And you guys, like, if you need to make changes with, changes with your budget, I want to encourage you to do that. Like, don't feel like, obviously you wanna try to stick to your budget as much as you can, but don't feel like you can't make any changes at all like once you have it written down i had to white out a whole lot of stuff over here and sometimes that happens because your life circumstances change and that's exactly what happened to us and this will all make a lot more sense <laughs> once i'm able to actually explain to you guys what is going on so for these other things right here i think i'm just gonna like leave those um, and add them up at the end of the month and put it over here into this actual column. So I'm gonna leave those be for now. We did get gas, um, I jotted that down. And then, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for our weekly check-in. So put zero and put that there. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the back of the planner so we can check out our weekly budget right here and as you guys probably know because i've said it a million times we budget weekly because we are paid weekly um, so these are my little like weekly budget charts that i like to come up with and for our mortgage we did set aside the 59080 and this is going to be put aside for our march mortgage so we do use the current month's pay to pay for next month's mortgage um, CenturyLink did come out and then I got the receipt for Apple Music but it hasn't hit our account yet so I'm not going to check it off. Toy organization, see this is where the other stuff is going to get a little confusing. Um, I did I did get the, all the bins that we need from Target for 6408 so that was really under budget. And then for our debt snowball, let me double check those numbers real quick. Someone asked like how we track our debt snowball payments. This is how we do it. Um, I have, of course we have our minimum payments, which are our bills, and that is kind of accounted for in our overall monthly budget right here. So Wells Fargo and Great Lakes, those are our minimum payments. And then I also have our debt snowball down here. The green, those are our debt snowball payments. So we made two payments on Friday, one for seventeen fifty five sixty seven, and the other was for one one six eight two two. So two nine two three eight nine, which I think is what we budgeted in our weekly budget. Let's see, two nine two three eight nine. Yep. So that was right on budget. And then I'll just put zero for unbudgeted. Okay, um, so that's good, that's good, that's good. So let's add this up. 590, 84, plus 65, plus 5, 43, plus 6408, plus 2923.89. So 36.49. $3,649.24. This was even, 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 even. And then this was 100 minus 6408. 35.92 under budget. Way over budgeted for that, but I'd rather be over budgeted than under budgeted and end up being over, you know? So we were in total under by 35.92. So to double check our math, we'll add this number to this number and it should equal that number. So 
49.24. And sure enough, our math is all good to go. That was pretty simple math this week. So there you have it, you guys. That is kind of how we do our weekly check-ins. And again, just bear with me as like we're making changes and stuff. Our priorities have definitely shifted. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> we are trying to pay off debt way sooner. Um, by July, actually, is when, when we're planning to pay everything off. And I'll be breaking that down for you guys and showing you how we're doing that. Um, I do use every dollar for like pre-budgeting or like future budgeting. I have our like every week's budget planned out through the end of the year, no joke, in every dollar. So that's where I get to play with the numbers a little bit, shift things around. Um, I'll be showing you guys how I use every dollar soon. Um, you'll probably see a video in March. So stay tuned for that. Um, but anyways, guys, if you have any questions at all, leave those down below for me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, definitely do that. I'd love to have you join us on this little crazy journey that we're on. And if you're interested in anything you see here today, everything I use for budgeting and planning is always linked in the description box down below, as well as a $10 off coupon that you can receive for Erin Condren for your next order. And just so you know, you guys, right now, the Deluxe Monthly Planner um, is on sale all the planners actually on Erin Condren are on sale for 35% off. So now is the time to pick one up. Um, if you are wanting to use it for budgeting, I have the direct link to the deluxe monthly planner that I use for budgeting down below, as well as the life planner, which I use for like all of my life planning. Um, so definitely check that out too and make sure to get that $10 off coupon so you can save even more money. But anyways, guys, that is it. I will chat with y'all later. Bye.